Hey guys, it's Chillin' here. Today I'm going to talk about 15 ways poor people can prepare for what do you we. I know that this is a heavy topic, but it's important to be prepared for anything. Point 1. Get informed. This is the most important step as it will help you make informed decisions about how to prepare. Learn about the potential threats of a nuclear war, including the short-term and long-term effects of radiation, as well as the potential social and economic impacts. There are many resources available online and in libraries that can help you learn more about nuclear war preparedness. You can also contact your local government or emergency management office for information. Point 2. Stock up on essential supplies. This includes food, water, medicine, first aid supplies, and other items that you will need to survive without access to outside resources. If you are on a tight budget, prioritize food, water, and medicine. You can also get creative with other supplies, such as using rain barrels to collect water or making your own first aid kits. There are many organizations that offer assistance to people in need. You can also check with your local government to see if they have any emergency preparedness programs that can help you stock up on essential supplies. 3. Find a safe place to shelter. This could be a basement, a tunnel, or another location that is protected from radiation and other hazards. If you don't have a basement or tunnel, you can still find a safe place to shelter. For example, you could shelter in a bathroom or closet. You can also make your home more resilient to nuclear fallout by sealing any cracks or openings around windows and doors. Point 4. Create a plan for your family. This should include how you will communicate with each other, where you will meet if you are separated, and what you will do in an emergency. It is also important to have a plan for how you will evacuate your home if necessary. Point 5. Build relationships with your neighbors. This will create a support network that you can rely on in times of need. Get to know your neighbors and discuss your emergency preparedness plans. You can also work together to create a neighborhood watch program or other mutual aid initiatives. Point 6. Focus on the most important supplies. As mentioned above, if you are on a tight budget, prioritize food, water, and medicine. You can also get creative with other supplies, such as using rain barrels to collect water or making your own first aid kits. 7. Look for free or low-cost resources. There are many organizations that offer assistance to people in need. You can also check with your local government to see if they have any emergency preparedness programs that can help you. 8. Be prepared to barter. If the economy collapses, you may need to trade goods and services in order to get what you need. Think about what skills and resources you have that could be valuable to others. 9. Don't give up hope. Even if you don't have a lot of money, there are still things you can do to prepare for Wadi Tree. The most important thing is to have a plan and to be aware of the potential threats. Here are some specific examples of how poor people can prepare for W3. Food. If you have a garden, grow your own food. If you don't have a garden, you can still grow food in pots on a balcony or patio. You can also stock up on non-perishable food items, such as canned goods, dried beans and rice, and pasta. Asterisk water. Collect rainwater in barrels or cisterns. If you don't have a way to collect rainwater, you can store bottled water. Medicine. If you have any chronic health conditions, make sure you have a stockpile of your medications. You can also stock up on over-the-counter medications, such as pain relievers and fever reducers. First aid supplies. Learn basic first aid skills and put together a first aid kit. You can find many pre-made first aid kits at your local pharmacy, but you can also save money by assembling your own kit. Shelter. If you don't have a basement or tunnel, you can still find a safe place to shelter. For example, you could shelter in a bathroom or closet. You can also make your home more resilient to nuclear fallout by sealing any cracks or openings around windows and doors. It is important to remember that no one is completely prepared for Wee Tree. However, by taking the steps above, you can increase your chances of survival.